Hello everyone, I am Pritam. Uh, in this lecture, we study about the net upper. So, in the previous lecture, we studied about the uh, young base types and it divided into two types base types, derived type, again, derived type into divided into two types simple types and groupings. So, in this lecture, uh, net uppers, we will study about what is net upper and how it works. So, uh, as we know that in the previous section, we have studied all the about a management system that actually ended with a, that actually configure with net configuration and which net con and the net configuration again uh, use Yang language, Yang data shaping language. In this section, describes a specific implementation based on the net upper tools. Net upper is actually tools which comes under net configurations. Net upper is a set of net configuration tools. Uh, tools built on the uh, net, uh, there is a library that is called um, lib net configuration and it allows operator to connect to their net configuration enabled devices as well as develop as well as developers to allow control their devices by the net configuration. So, net, net upper, uh, so actually net upper uh, is a library and it actually uh, comes with a pre-installed library it's called uh, that is called uh, lib net configuration uh, lib net c o n f so in this using this uh, net upper if you are a user or if you are a developer then you can control or you can um, i mean you can recontrol or remake or reconfigure your net configuration enabled devices so this is the overview uh, the, there is a net net upper tools the overview of net upper, net upper so now comes to NetUpper tools. The overview of NetUpper, the overview of NetUpper tools says that it consists of NetUpper CII, then NetUpper GUI. Uh, CII GUI is connected to the server using uh, network. Um, so CII stands for Command Line Interface, then GUI stands for Graphics Unit Interface, and again the server is connected to the storage. And we have uh, our Trans API that comes with the module and NetUpper servers okay so let's study one by one so what is CII a NetUpper command line interface is actually a command line interface allowing users to connect to a net configuration enabled device and to open and to obtain and manipulate its configuration data okay so if you have a, a net configuration devices uh, if you have a device which actually control using net configuration system then uh, you if you want to configure or reconfigure the process or anything in the code then you can use the uh, command line interface then if you have uh, uh, want, if you want to control the device through a through a uh, beautiful touchscreen led window uh, it comes with start, stop and all these buttons then it's called graphics user interface the user can interface with the uh, system using uh, using the diagrams or using the pictures the module with a web based GUI that is called graphics user interface allowing user to connect to a net configuration enabled device and to obtain and manipulate its configuration data from a graphical interface okay so further we'll go for trans api module it actually com comes under the um, i mean here the server inside the server i mean storage server uh, all this trans api will comes so the trans api modules uh, the net upper project provides uh, several basic trans api modules that uh, besides their functionality uh, serve as example for writing the uh, leave net configuration trans api modules these modules are actually located inside the trans api order directory okay so we have studied about the net configuration and which is actually uh, configured using yang language and we have uh, in this section we have studied the net roper. so how to configure what are the steps to follow uh, for the configuration system the management of uh, iod systems first you have to create a young module of the system that defines the configuration and the state data of the systems okay so you are defining a young systems actually like this uh, so you have a defined 
and the toaster you have defined the toaster you have defined the make toast you have decided define the cancel toast you have to define first once you define the uh, i mean if once you define the headings then again you can re-enter into the program and uh, changes the things okay so first if we have completed with uh, uh, then we'll go to the compile the yang module so once you compile the yang model with the uh, inc tool so uh, there's a tool that's called inc tool which come with a net configuration library uh, that is called leave net configuration the lit net configuration provide a framework that is called trans api that is provide a mechanism of uh, reflecting the changes in the configuration file in the actual device okay in the actual device previously something is installed then if you change something using your young young language and you have to convert this young programming yes or no that library which actually convert the young thing into the binary value that is called uh, int inc tool ink tool and it actually uh, comes under the library which is which is leave net configurations okay so after this uh, configuration or change is done then fill the iot device management code in the trans api modules okay so once your code is done your code is compiled there is no error and it is actually converted into the machine readable language that is a c file that means c that is a c programming file callback file and after you finding this thing third step is to fill up this c file into the devices this file include configuration callbacks rcp callbacks and state data callbacks all these things will be uh, available in the trans api module then after you go for build the callbacks that is c file to generate the library file the the extension of the file will be dot so next uh, load the young module containing the data definitions and the trans api module that is the so binary file into the uh, netropa server using the netropa manager tools so there is a tool which actually used to um, connect the server and uh, upload the dot so file okay so the operator can now connect from the management system to the netropa server and using the netropa cli that is called command line interface okay so this is all about your uh, netroper thank you very much